And now meet a U.S. Marine who is the only person in the world to have a new type of bionic hand. For the first time, Staff Sergeant James Sides is showing us how this new technology is changing his life. It looks like he walked off the set of the latest science fiction movie. But for U.S. Marine Staff Sergeant James Sides, this is real life. And I remember being on my left side in the fetal position with dust in the air and my ears were ringing and I was confused and then I realized what happened. It was spring of 2012 when Sergeant Sides was on his second deployment in Afghanistan, working as a bomb tech, putting his life on the line every day to dismantle unexploded IEDs until one mission didn't go as planned. It was booby trapped and it detonated when I was on top of it. That explosion left Sergeant Sides without a hand. There's no point in Oh, I lost my hand. That doesn't get you anywhere. It was and that positive attitude, and bravery, and even a sense of humor so that made him a um, candidate no. for this, a first-of-its-kind yeah. prosthetic that uses sensors surgically implanted in the limb as well as a motorized thumb. If I want to pick something up, it's intuitive and fluid, just like I, if I had a hand. Dr. Paul Pasquina of the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, that's the military's medical school, says most of the newer prosthetics use sensors on the surface of the limb, so they're only able to detect some of the remaining muscles, and that limits movement. Many of the more functional muscles that actually control your hand naturally are deeper. They're not close to the surface of the skin. Many of the deeper muscles are the muscles that you actually use to do a lot of the hand manipulation. Yeah. Sergeant Sides has eight sensors implanted in his limb. They help him articulate his fingers, use that special motor in the thumb, and rotate his hand. And he can do all of them at once. So I'm actually rotating my forearm inside of the prosthetic to make it do this. And then with the thumb, move the thumb muscle up, it comes up, contract my thumb muscle, it goes down. With the older prosthetics, there's only a manual thumb, so you have to physically position it with the other hand before you can grab something. And movements could only be done one at a time, making simple everyday tasks much more tedious. If we give them something that's much more functional, um, uh, we hope that not only is it going to help them, you know, in their quality of life today, but in their quality of life tomorrow. Just amazing that that's even possible. Doctors are looking for two more people to be part of an FDA clinical trial to test the device. They hope to have this prosthetic on the market as soon as possible. A snowy owl that won the hearts of